home soil. How sweet it is for the Canadian women's national field hockey team as they return from a series of matches in the United Kingdom. And being back in Canada is that much sweeter for the girls when the results on the pitch were a resounding success. Well, we actually had an unbelievable result against number three England and we came away with a tie. We were leading one nothing until the last play of the game, which was incredible for us. Uh, it showed real passion and belief in the process and what we can do as a group of individuals. Add that to two wins and a tie against Wales and things are looking increasingly positive for the women. We do have a very young team which sometimes can be tough going in against especially teams like England who have years on us and not only years but caps international games but it's not hurting us, which is a great thing. Uh, the young girls coming in are quick, they're determined, they're gritty, and we're just so fortunate to have them a part of our team. The man tasked with harnessing all that talent is coach Ian Rutledge. He sees the age of the team as uniquely positive, maybe even a secret weapon. The average age of this group is around 21, 22 years of age, so it's very young. Um, a lot of those players are experienced though, so it's kind of a unique situation. Most players coming into a national program around the world, roughly, um, will be kind of making their debut around 21. Now, some of our 21-year-olds um, are you know, hitting 50 caps. So the positive to it is, is we can spend a long time um, with this group um, and hopefully gel it into something special. 19-year-old Hannah Hahn has been playing field hockey for more than 10 years. She chose the national program over a field hockey scholarship at Stanford University and has since amassed more than 60 games for Canada. It was probably one of the toughest decisions, um, but for me, I just being able to train with the national team from er early on, you know, it was obvious to me that I would learn the most here and I'm so happy to be here. Um, every day is just exciting to come out to training and again, like I've been able to play 60 games for Canada, so there's really no, no regrets yet. That feeling is mutual. Yeah, physically, she's a fantastic athlete. She's one of our fittest in, in the program. She's also one of our fastest as well, so not only does she have the physical qualities, uh, I also think she's, she's quite good technically as well, so uh, everything, that a coach wants in an athlete, um, Hannah uh, has there. Uh, the majority of the girls, because of their age, are at university. Uh, so uh, university lifestyle is not a bad lifestyle to become a full-time athlete. But it's up to the players themselves to balance being an elite athlete and a student. So on this day, Hans spends her day off from training, nestled among the books in the library at the University of British Columbia, where she studies kinesiology. It's definitely tough, um, but for me I thrive kind of on having less time, so I know that it, it makes me prioritize with all my schoolwork. And on tour it's a lot easier knowing that everyone else has work to do, so we kind of all have a study group and that makes it a lot easier. What also helps this group is constant feedback. We all need to understand the importance of position. From coaches and from each other. Veteran Thea Cully has been through the process and has grown up with the team. I think in my first few years, I didn't fully understand what being on the national team was and either I didn't ask or the senior players didn't tell, you know, about what was expected in the culture. So you're just, you're looking around at anybody you can as to what you're supposed to do. But having played more than 100 matches in the red and white, she's learned a little. Now I try to make sure that, you know, I communicate that to the new players that the first few years are extremely tough as you get comfortable in the squad and make your way into knowing what your daily training program looks like, what you do, how you're going to approach each practice. For Han, her first few years couldn't have been any better. It's awesome, you know, growing up with the team, everyone, this whole team's become my family now. Um, and we're such a close, tight-knit group. Um, so it's really great to come to training every morning. It really makes it that much easier to make the choice to come out and put up in all the effort every day. That's music to the ears of the coaching staff who have a clear vision. The, the real um, focus now is just making sure we nurture Hannah and the rest of the group to become the players that they can be, like potentially uh, very good right now, potentially. 
Uh, but the, the job of the program over the next couple of years is to turn that potential into reality. Potential. It comes with expectation and sometimes pressure. But for her teammates, Cully has some advice. We all set goals and a lot of them are big and lofty and exciting and I think that's a wonderful and I want to make sure that everybody takes the time to enjoy the journey and the process as you get to those goals because regardless of whether you achieve them or not, what we're doing right now is something special and to really cherish each moment is, you know, what it's, it's worth it.